the Lord. He says, cast your burdens unto me and I'll take care of them. What is it that you want in this office? What is it that you want in this place? What is it that you need when you go out there? You need the power of the Holy Ghost. You might work, you might have everything without power. That's why when power jumps power, the lesser one submits. No power that is above the kingdom of God. In this environment, you need God. In your fields, you need God. Because why to destroy? The world is wicked. We are in the last days. Hallelujah. Where Satanism is at the highest peak. Where Satan is attacking, but we never want to have fire. But if they can attack someone up there, what about somebody that is not fire rising? We are prone to a lot of things because the fire of God is not in us. I'm encouraging each one of us to have the fire move with the fire that is unquenchable. Be it in the office. Command the fire of the Holy Ghost. As you enter, refuse to start your work without commanding your day. Because he say, look on this day. Hallelujah. Amen. If you wait for tomorrow, it might never come. That chance and opportunity might not come. The opportunity has come today. The opportunity has come this hour. The opportunity has come this minute. The opportunity has come this second. What are you thinking? What do you want? What is it that you have to put down? What is it that you have to throw down? What is it that you have to uproot? The time is now and not tomorrow. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter where. Where is, uh, you know, so many doors open because Corinthians also say in 16.9, Behold, there are so many effectual doors that are open, but there are many adversaries. But there are many adversaries. Hallelujah. Worry not for I have overcome the world because God knew in this world there is wickedness. But are we going to slumber as, as, as children of God? Even in these offices that we are in, yes, God has given us these doors to to guard jealously, but we are to possess and take charge. Why? Because the master liveth. I am the head and not the tail. I'll command my day. I'll command my work. I'll command and tell my God, Father Lord, you put me in charge and I will be in charge. I'll walk like a queen. I'll walk like somebody that has been given authority to pull down, to uproot, to throw down. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is the almighty God is faithful. In your homes, God is faithful. With your children, God is faithful. With your marriages, God is faithful. But as a fire-raised woman, I'll put down whatever seems to stand on my way. You touch me by correction, I hammer you, you die by fire. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Touch me by mistake, you die by correction. Because I carry the fire of God. I carry the fire of God. I carry the fire of God. And where I stand, I pull down what seems to be a hindrance. What seems to come on my way. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter who stands on my way. But I know the Lord that I save. I know whom I cling to. I know the garment I touch. When I touch it and decree, he says, I'll decree a thing and it shall be established. It is now, now, this hour, this minute, to uproot, to pull down, to throw down. Hallelujah. Amen. The time is now. He says this day. He has not said that day. What is said? He's saying pulling down the stronghold. That's what the Bible says. You pull it down because why? The original purpose is that you should be on top. Where are you standing? Where is your situation? Is it above you? Is it there? It should be down there. I should step on it because I carry the fire. Just rise up, we pull down. I don't know your situation. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you need in this office. I don't know what you need in your home. I don't know what you need in your marriages. I don't know what you need upon your children. I don't know what you need in your churches. I don't know what you need, 
I do not know. In your education, I do not know. But all I'm saying is if there is a hindrance anywhere, we are pulling down. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we rise to our feet? Just in a few minutes, each one of us, we have an opportunity to pray, to put